Greg Abbott, the governor of Texas, has a great idea that he is now carrying out. What's the idea? The idea is really simple. The Biden administration is taking in all these illegals uh, across the border and then dumping them uh, in all kinds of places around Texas. And um, Abbott's point is, we don't really want them, but you evidently want them because you're letting them in. So you can have them. And essentially what Texas is doing is it's now chartered 900 buses to take uh, these illegals uh, to dump them in Washington, D.C. You have them. So we got to follow this because this is this is genius. I mean, this is actually the kind of stuff Republicans need to do. I'm going to quote Abbott. He goes, we're sending them to the U.S. Capitol where the Biden administration will be, be will be able to more immediately address the needs of the people that they are allowing to come across our border. Abbott says he got the idea because some of the smaller towns in Texas were getting really angry at these um, illegals being um, being stashed in their communities. Uh, and they realized there were some leftist politicians in San Antonio who were saying, oh, we've got to welcome the illegals and so on. And so these small towns were like, you know what? We'll send them to San Antonio. And so this movement begins in Texas to take the illegals and basically dispatch them to the, pla to the places in Texas where there seem to be leftist politicians cheering them on. But Abbott goes, wait a minute. Well, why are we rearranging them in Texas? Let's send them off to D.C. Quote, what better place for them to go than to the steps of the Capitol? They get to see the wonderful Capitol, but they also get to be closer to the people who are making these policies that are allowing people to come to the border illegally. Now, uh, interestingly, Abbott is not permitted to uh, take illegals against their will and do this. Um, because apparently if you do that, then you're opening up the issue of, well, are you actually... Are you kidnapping them? And so the state of Texas doesn't want to be involved in any of that. But the, the idea is quite simple. You go to these to these illegals and you go, hey, would you like to go to Washington, D.C.? And a lot of them go, yes, yes, I would. Yes, see, si, senor. So, OK, fine. Here's a bus. Get on it. So these illegals have been previously the Biden guys were like, hey, get on a bus. Hey, get on a plane. And so now the Texans are like, hey, get on a bus, get on a plane. And off you go to Washington, D.C. Now, here's something interesting. Um, this is, by the way, uh, Texas Division of Emergency Management Chief. It's Nim Kidd. He's like, the state has got a pool of 900 buses. And he goes, we are ready to go. Now, interestingly, interestingly, the moment that Texas began to put these illegals on the buses, guess what? Suddenly they noticed that the Biden administration is no longer dumping illegals in Texas. In fact, uh, I'm now quoting Seth Christensen. This is a guy who makes this uh, observation. He says, um, uh, he goes, a large number of communities that originally reached out for support through this operation have now said that the federal government has stopped dropping migrants in their town since the governor's announcement. So what does this tell you? Well, what this tells you is that the moment that these guys have to deal with the illegals themselves, the Biden people, they're like, OK, no, 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 no. This is this is not working out the way we envisioned. Our idea was to take these illegals and put them in swing states where over time they would become loyal Democrats and help swing those states into our camp. But once you send them to Washington, D.C., it's a whole different issue. We now have to deal with them. We have to feed them. I mean, think about it. The Biden people don't care about any of these people. They're political pawns. They're tools of their agenda. And what Greg Abbott has done is essentially called their bluff. He says, you want them? You can have them. And the Biden people suddenly go, well, you know what? We'll send them elsewhere. And so when Republicans um, take initiative and strike back and think of creative ways to push back on what the left is doing, you realize that the left is not so tough. Their aggression relies on our lassitude and our timidity um, and our acquiescence. And if we don't give them that timidity, we don't give them that acquiescence, we discover that they're not so tough after all.